Many European policies nowadays talk about decarbonisation, but vulnerable populations are already decarbonised. So how we can help them to adapt to climate change? In the Mediterranean area, we expect an increase of heat waves uh, in frequency and length. In our group, we believe that we need to transform cities. So our proposal is cooling down cities, preparing buildings with passive strategies and low-cost measures to get habitable conditions for summer for the coming years. This place is one of the most overheated places in Madrid. It was very under the sun, it was too hot to be. We started working in this community with these neighbors. We decided to first build a shade structure with some plants that were going to crawl all around the structure to make this place cooler, nicer to gather. So almost 30 neighbors were participating in this process of construction. Participating to this project helped me realize how we can use sustainability and architecture in a way that we can help people to uh, face issues like energy poverty. A future wherein gender equality is achieved in the energy sector. I imagine it as an energy sector that puts life into center, not only markets interest. The most challenging thing is being taken seriously. <laughs> Uh, generally, because of our gender and the patriarchy, we've been raised. As women, our vision is needed because the most different answers we have to the problem, the better society we will build. I think the measures we've been testing will be useful in future years for our northern colleagues as well in Europe.